Hey, this is a mini randomness video. Yay. We're just watching the trailers from the DVD with the pearly whites. Yeah. Okay, the Leprechaun episode. Yeah. Long time ago. Long time ago. I love the way he said A dragon shat out of a fucking rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did Paul die? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Paul. <laughs> Sorry, Panda. Had to be done. So wait, there's two different dragons? Um, <laughs> what? Okay, I guess the skunk comes to save the day. Save the day with his stench. Uh, do you, uh, you want to tell uh, the viewers about the little story you said about when you saw this trailer? Oh yeah, when I saw this trailer when I was younger, I wasn't interested then either. <laughs> oh wait, no, Paul didn't die. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's also Dragon. Also, is this a Kung Fu Panda ripoff? I think, I think the only thing I really liked about this was the music. Same. But I think this is like some Kung Fu Panda ripoff. Kind of. Why would you choose a skunk though? Because... Because... I don't know, why can't it be the rabbit? Like, I got enough of the skunk... Uh, there's a skunk guy in the freaking Archie Sonic comics. I got enough of him, so I don't need that. Thank you. Uh, what's this? Dino Squad. That was my shit when I was younger. I've never seen it. Is this the thing? Well, maybe I only saw like two episodes. <laughs> but I still liked it a lot. What's it about? I've never seen it. They turn into fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I got that, but how? <laughs> Well, they uh, were, like, swimming, I think, at the beach or something, and then, uh, that part where they're showing, like, that yellow stuff, they swim in that, and then it affects their DNA because, like, a mad scientist was, like, looking it out of his mansion or something, and now they're dinosaurs. Like, what adventures do they get into? I don't know, they fight that guy I was talking about, the evil scientist, that literally just threw that stuff away in the water. What's this? Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> I used to love this when I was younger. I'm I so sad to admit that, but yes. I never liked this because of the the art. I never liked this because of the freaking art. The only thing I liked is the little lessons, I think, at the end. Like, sometimes they teach you things about food, and that's what all I cared about is food. <laughs> he sounds like Scrappy. Does he sound like Scrappy? <laughs> Can I fly? <laughs> does it, does it, does it I believe my issue. You made me ruin the joke. <laughs> uh, do, do There's you know. two of them. <laughs> does it sound like Scrappy Doo, though? A little bit. What's up with the sky? I believe I can fly. <laughs> yeah, basically this guy just asks a thousand questions. More like Sid asks too many fucking questions. <laughs> I can't believe I used to like that show. Let's see this. What? I don't, what? I don't think I've ever heard this of this. Is the world of Animal Atlas. Uh, looks like that one thing on PBS Kids with that jumping monkey or whatever. Breathing. What thing? Um, um, sheep. Episodes of the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, uh, fuck. I can't remember what it was called. But it was on like really late at night on PBS Kids and it had like a, a lemur. A lemur. It had a lemur in it. And like, he wouldn't talk, but then when he like showed up with like the human characters in the show, or human actors, then he could talk by eating like a certain food. Okay. I can't remember what it was called, but I'm sure other kids that watch that show and reminisce about it will know what I'm talking about. I think that's more interesting than this. Thanks, I have a life, so no. I can learn about animals inside this encyclopedia or something. Imagination! Let's see this. I want to see this. What's this? Ooh, cool. Pokemon ripoff. That's what it is. Well, it looks interesting, though. Okay, if they do the same thing in every single episode like they do in Pokemon, then it's not going to be any better. I choose you! <laughs> I bet you just like Pokemon, um, I mean, just like all the other shows in Deke, just the intro's good. 
I like the music though. They do a pretty good job with music and intros. I choose you! Pikachu! Watch out! Oh, yeah, I think fire power. Power. Yeah, I think this is just some Pokemon ripoff. It's like a mixture of airbenders with the Pokemon. Wow. This looks pretty much like Pokemon. It has three main characters, I'm assuming. Just like Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon ripoff, buy it today. <laughs> <laughs> this this made me think it was good. This right here. I don't know, why? It made me want to see it. Especially because of how I'm a big Zelda, Zelda fan. <laughs> Yeah, that. Evil Skulls. We watched this show, actually. Excuse me, princess, but I was working on that. <laughs> also, he tries to hit on it every episode, like, he's like, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Like, he's more horny. There, there was... <laughs> he's horny, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's more horny than Peppy Le Pew from Looney Tunes. <laughs> the skunk. Who's that, Dabby? I guess so, or it's Tinkerbell knockoff. Tinkerbell knockoff. There's already there's so many knockoffs of knockoffs, I swear. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. We were freaking bored. Wait, wait! We gotta see Johnny Chest. <laughs> okay. Yay! Why? Cause that was actually a good show. It's made by Dig Dig We Dig. Do you wanna watch all of the uh, trailers? Or no, the last one was Sonic Underground. You don't wanna watch Sonic Underground? Well, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that song at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like every other, not other, other TV show, they keep the same thing song throughout the entire show. I know, right? I'm, I th this show is got heavily inspired by this one show. I haven't seen it, but. Fudge! I forgot what it was called! Ah, I'm trying to remember! <laughs> is, the, is the theme song just too much for you to think of anything? Ah, <laughs> I'm seriously trying to remember. I've seen every single episode, actually, which is not a good thing, but I was bored as, uh, one summer and I watched them all. Ah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. You were bored one summer, like there was something to do? Pretty much, yeah. And then I was just like, well, I've heard some people say it was good, so I'ma watch it. I have no I know people are gonna hate me about this, but I forgot its freaking name! The show that uh Giant Test was inspired from. It was inspired from something? Fudge, you don't remember. It's uh uh it's called Dexter's Laboratory. That's what it's inspired from. It's made by Cartoon Network. Oh A lot well, of people like that show. So I'm I have not gonna seen go it at all. I heard it's really good. You should just play Sonic Underground while we talk. <laughs> Sonic Underground! <laughs> it's in my head and making it pound! I, I'll see you in the next video because we're running out of time on my phone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Round you to separate. I'm a little bit Sonic Horn. and wish! <laughs> the end. Bye, guys. <laughs>